So what is Hive? So based on these discussions, if I really want to point out what exactly is Hive, Hive is a data warehousing package built on top of. So we say that Hive is a data warehouse package. So it contains characteristics of tables and databases, but it will never have relationships. Why will Hive not have relationships? Because Hadoop doesn't have relationships. Hadoop is a file system on which you normally create the data on read, right? So basically, while writing the data, you do not even think about the relationship of the data. Data relationship is not important. So any table that you create on top of HDFS, any table that you make on top of HDFS will never have relationships. Because you do not have relationships, you normally justify Hive as a data warehousing platform. It will have tables, it will have databases, but I mean, it will have tables, it will have a, you know, a schema, but it is not a database, it is a data warehouse. The difference is data warehouse is used for reporting purposes, totally OLTP or OLAP. We always think about migration of tables which are based for OLAP system. Migrating of reporting needs, you cannot migrate transactional tables into Hive. Makes sense? We already discussed, right? The difference between RDBMS and Hadoop. And we already justified that, yes, RDBMS is great for OLTP, Hadoop is great for OLAP. This is what OLAP is all about, creating tables on Hive. Used for data analytics, so it is totally a data discovery platform. Target towards users comfortable with SQL, so you talk about SQL based solutions. The SQL queries, as I said, 99% of the queries will run on Hive. These are called HQL, Hive query language, which are 99% similar to SQL. For, manage, for managing and querying structured data, so yes, we're talking about tables, we're talking about migrations, so Hive is used for structured data. So here we are not talking about unstructured data processing, we are mostly focused on structured data processing because we are talking about both use cases which we are migrating from an Oracle system into a Hadoop system. It abstracts the complexity from Hadoop, so we do not worry about how internally these queries get converted into MapReduce. No need to learn Java, no, not required at all, same with Big, very less learning curve. Developed by Facebook and Facebook uses it to analyze terabytes of data. So if Facebook uses Hive to analyze terabytes of data, I'm sure any other company in the world can use Hive to do their data processing as well. Is JQL similar? Uh, JQL is uh, it's a little bit different, right? You know, because you normally use sessions and tables. Here it is exactly like CQL. Does it mean it has a schema but not relations? Yes, it has a schema. You can create a table, but you cannot define a primary key, you cannot define a counterfeit key, you cannot define a foreign key. Now. Yeah, the column, relationships cannot be meant. Was Hive developed by Facebook only? Yes. Facebook developed Hive. After that, it submitted Hive into Apache as a top level project. So again, as I said, each of the services, MapReduce was actually developed by Yahoo. Uh, Spark was developed by you know, uh, Berkeley University. Strong was developed by Twitter. So each of the companies developed one of those services, but the services was then turned over to Apache. Apache manages them, maintains them, and, and uh, monitors them. So it becomes uh, Apache uh, top level project. So there are a lot of contributors who are using it. But it was initially developed by Facebook. Is schema similar to Star Schema or Snowflake Schema? No. You create, cannot create these kind of schema, right? For creating a Star Schema or Snowflake Schema, you have to have relationships. They have to define the tables as a dimension table, or you have to define the tables as fact table, right? And you can only define tables as you know dimension table only when you have the primary keys. Can you create a dimension table without a primary key? I doubt. But here you do not even have the dimension table or fact table I, I, I know, identification because you do not even have that luxury of defining you know, uh, primary keys. And then data in Hadoop cannot reside anywhere else apart from being in HDFS. The data in Hadoop cannot reside anywhere else apart from being in HDFS. So the same thing here, Hive doesn't store the data. Hive only is an is a abstraction. It provides you with a service that allows you to view data in HDFS as tables. Okay? So the data is actually residing in HDFS. In HDFS, you have normal text data. So it doesn't have relationships. Is it similar to Impala? Impala is very specific to Cloudera. Cloudera created an MPP massively parallel processing uh, you know, uh, data warehouse, which is called Impala. So Impala is built on top of Hive. It is an in-memory processing engine used for faster adopt queries. It's a different ballgame together, but very similar. 
the queries you run on Hive can be run on Impala as well, but Impala, Impala is very vendor locked into Cloud Era. So that's the difference. What is Hive? It's a service at the end of the day, right? It runs on top of HDFS. It gives you an interface for running SQL-like queries. It is normally used for or used in use cases where you really think about migration of existing reporting requirements or target towards users who are very comfortable with SQL. So what is Hive? It defines a query language called HQL, very similar to SQL. It is a data warehouse infrastructure, so it's definitely not a database, it's a data warehouse. Hive allows you to run ETL processing. I mean, it's, it's a query because at the end of the day, all select queries get converted into MapReduce, so it becomes an ETL process. Allows programmers to plug in custom MapReduce, so it allows you UDF functionality, user-defined function. Because we're talking about select queries, select query will have a lot of different functions, right? like you can say count, sum, and all those queries. So you can write and run your own custom UDF also. Is it, is it like another scripting language? No, so that, that is the point, right? So the reason we talked about Hive is because we're talking about migrating your existing SQL. So your SQL query should work in Hive, should not be learning anything new. If you're trying to learn anything new, then it diminishes the reason of having a service like Hive, because then Hive and Free will be very much similar. Hive is used because you do not want to learn a new scripting language, you want to use your SQL know-how, right? So you are supposed to use your SQL know-how into Hive. Where can Hive be used? It can be used anywhere, you know, data mining, log processing, document indexing, business intelligence, predictive modeling, anything we talk about. Yes, if the data is structured, you can use Hive. Why to go for PIG uh, or why to go for Hive when PIG is there? So PIG is definitely a high-level scripting language used for data flows. It is used by programmers and researchers because you are thinking about quick prototyping and adopt reporting. Hive is very much used for by analysts who has less programming know-how but more business know-how. So you are more into the business side, you know SQL languages, you can use Hive. And it is very much similar to SQL, so it is used for my direction. So although Hive and Peak are very similar, they run MapReduce, they are used for ETL activities, they're trying to make life of a developer's easy, but the usage of Hive and Peak is a little bit different from the requirements of object. What do you want? So, but at the end of the day, it's your wish. You can choose Hive or Peak interchangeably. If you really want to use Hive, you can write your scripts and you can write your reporting requirements in Hive. If you want it in Peak, you can write it in Peak. The easy part of Peak is, it, it, I mean, you're actually de decoupling the data from the from, from the process, we do not care how the data is loaded. In Hive, yes, while creating those tables, you have to define that. So once you define it, it becomes difficult to change it. But both of them can be used interchangeably for ETL processes. Bharti says it is a query engine to run SQL. Yes, absolutely right. It is a service that provides us with a query engine to run SQL based queries. So what are the difference between Hive and PIG? Hive is SQL like, PIG has something called PIG Latin. Schema so in PIG, it is implicit. You have to write that schema inside that PIG program itself. Hive, no. While writing the while writing the you know, SQL query, you do not have to specify the schema. The schema has to be specified while creating the table. So first part is table creation. So you have data load, load the data, create table, use table. In PIG, it is load data, use table. So you do not have to create it into a table. So you have to explicitly maintain a table. Partitions, so partitions are very much like indexing, we'll talk about it, but yes, Hive allows you to partition the data. Partition data is easy to manage and search, right? So we'll talk about it. Server, so do you have an option of, uh, you know, integrating with third party applications? A big no. Hive, yes. So Hive provides a thrift which can be used for connecting to external services. UDF, yes, you can write UDF programs. Custom serializer, yes, custom serializer. So we already know it that normally the serializers are inbuilt into the data type. Data type in Java or character array data type in PIC or the string data, string data type in Hive will be all serialized data. Access to HDFS, yes, you can, both of them can access. Do the support join order sort, yes. Do they have a shell command, like grunt command, yes. Do the support streaming of the data from a Perl script, yes. Do they have a web interface? So uh, Hive does have a web interface, not for PIG. JDBC, ODBC, yes. Do, do you support JDBC? Yes, PIG, no. Now, 
why is Hive supporting JTBC OTBC? Why does Hive support JTBC or OTBC connections? Third party connectivity, absolutely right, yes. And as mentioned, that Hive is a data warehouse, right? So if I declare a service as a data warehouse, it should have the data warehousing capabilities. What are the data warehousing capabilities? The data warehousing capabilities are that if I have a remote application, let's say a web portal, a web application, and a web page, a web page can use these you know, tables of Hive as normal data warehouse tables. I can use these tables as OLAP requirements. I can really, really use the tables as a backend of my actual web page or web portal. So it should act normal data warehouse. I should be able to access the tables even from outside. Right, so they allow us to use GDBC and ODBC connectivity.